This is a follow-up video to the PewDiePie ADL donation video I did yesterday because I did a little bit more research and I think I figured out why PewDiePie did this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I love engaging with you beautiful people out there, all right? So yeah, let's, uh, let's follow up. I did a video yesterday, it'll be linked up in the info card somewhere up here. Um, but yeah, so there's been this narrative that's going around that ADL is trying to censor a bunch of people. And like, I, I'm against that. Like anybody who watched my video yesterday, or if you like watch my videos that I made about the outrage over Dave Chappelle's stand-up special, like I am against that stuff, all right? Like that is just not okay. And the video I made yesterday, I discussed a little bit about, you know, censoring YouTubers and things like that, just because they have differing opinions. And one of the issues is, is that some people walk a very fine line, but after doing some more research with ADL, I was like, okay, okay, like we really need to talk about this real quick. So a couple of the main things that people are bringing up about the Anti-Defamation League and PewDiePie, this whole thing, is a couple things. One of them was ADL was one of the people spreading the, the idea that the Pepe the Frog meme was a symbol of hate, right? And then there was also when they came after PewDiePie and was pressuring Disney to sever ties with him two years ago, over two years ago, all right? But what we also need to understand about the Anti-Defamation League is they're also trying to clean up stuff like this. To this day, the Jews are the enemies of the Catholic Church. They are enemies of the entire human race. I'm talking about the suffocating grip Jewry has on every component of American life. Their state of Israel is an antichrist, evil state. It's blasphemous. It's wicked. It's an affront to God. So no, there are no such thing as an innocent Jew. Not, and it's not, not Muslims that are going to kill us. It's Jews. So listen, like much like the police, in my opinion, they're gonna screw up, they're gonna do some dumb things. Like when, you know, all the gang violence is going on in places like Southern California and things like that, like the police might pull over people just for wearing, you know, red or blue back in the day. You know what I mean? And it sucks, it's really dumb. So like when you see ADL like coming out and you know, making posts about the Pepe the Frog meme, you know, that sucks, that's ridiculous, all right? But here's what we need to understand too, like, even even the artist of the Pepe the Frog meme like went after white supremacy groups legally, all right, and some others for taking it, right? There was a comedian, I can't remember who it was, I was thinking about this, but somebody was talking about how, how we just like give things to like white supremacists, right? Like they just start using some kind of symbol and we're just like, okay, here, you could take it, right? Like rather than just saying no, like they're just using that. Like we wouldn't just stop eating food or driving cars just because white supremacists do that as well. So I, uh, I watch other channels to get an idea of what's going on in the community and get, you know, different outlooks on d different situations, get different perspectives to try to do a little research. And somebody who I check out um, is The Quartering. And I agree with him maybe half the time, right? So on my original video yesterday, I actually credited him in the description because I watched his video and he put up an image of this article, right? When he was talking about how the ADL is trying to deplatform YouTubers. And I'm like, oh no, that's ridiculous. But then I looked into the article and I started reading it, I looked it up, and uh, it, they were talking about like deplatforming James Alsup. So I'm like, who's James Alsup? So I started doing a little research. And like James Alsup online, there's different articles labeling him as a white supremacist. I'm like, okay, but is this just, you know, 
people labeling somebody as a white supremacist who really isn't or whatever it is. So I went to Snopes.com. Those of you who don't know what Snopes.com is, if you want like factual based stuff, go to Snopes.com. So I do a little search on James Alsup because who is this person that the ADL was for deplatforming and what is his real deal, all right? And here's a quote from one of the articles on Snopes.com. That event was attended by members of the anti-Muslim groups Proud Boys and Cascade Legion, as well as James Alsup, a member of the white supremacist group Identity Europa which also marched in the deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia in 2017. Also was elected to a local Washington state precinct as a Republican briefly before the party stripped him of that office. So yeah, okay, I think we can all agree that sometimes the Anti-Defamation League does some really dumb stuff, but we also have to remember that they're trying to clean up people like James Alsup, and did I show you this clip yet? Not and it's not, not Muslims that are gonna kill us, it's Jews. So there's no way I could actually confirm this unless I talk to PewDiePie, but I like to believe, I like to believe that what PewDiePie was doing, aside from repairing his relationship with the Anti-Defamation League, is that he was trying to clean up all of the edgelords who are in his community. Like when you have a hundred million subscribers, like you're bound to have, and it's not just like a few bad eggs, right? Like a hundred million, like think about that. Like I live in Las Vegas. I think we have like one or two million people here and there's crime, you know, there's, people who do bad things in the city, but a hundred million, like there are large populations within PewDiePie's community. Like we're not talking about some fringe people. There are large groups of people in PewDiePie's community who absolutely suck, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if part of his, you know, donating to the ADL was just to piss off some of these people so much that they just, totally abandon him, you know what I mean? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I find like really like just kind of funny about this situation is just watching people who have been ride or die PewDiePie, right? Like, and by the way, I don't think PewDiePie should have been canceled for some of the things I'm gonna mention, but like, you know, uh, much like Count Dankula when PewDiePie did his joke that people were labeling as anti-Semitic and stuff like that, like people stuck by PewDiePie's side. They stuck right by her, right? When PewDiePie dropped the N-bomb with the hard R, people stuck by PewDiePie, they stuck by his side, right? But then PewDiePie donates some money to the Anti-Defamation League and people are like, what? whoa, 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 now I gotta distance myself from you, PewDiePie, like, what? Like, that's nuts. Like, if you look at PewDiePie's um, statement, his tweet, if you start looking at some of the responses, there are some disgusting people in there, all right? And not only that, like, even the video I did yesterday, like, let me give you an example of some of the comments that I've received from it. Rewired Soul, that's what happens to a kid when you sodomize them, PewDiePie is deaf that, and you too with your pedo panda bear in the back, how damn dumb do you think the masses are? You and him need to be kicked off a effing bridge and stop the BS, the chosen ones, the Jews, are doing this stuff to get more, oh look at poor me, the eternal aggressor playing the eternal victim, and you helping you puke, if you even effing real. This stuff goes on so they can claim the world hates them to install laws that shut you down for real, this fat, crap bag here is working with them period 100 percent and as you can see with my response i'm like it's a shame that pewdiepie is losing people like you from his audience all right like i just want you guys to put that in perspective real quick like pewdiepie like with this one act it only cost him fifty thousand dollars for the low low price of fifty thousand dollars pewdiepie is having some of these people turn completely against him all right i'm not too upset about that okay but anyways what's not funny is the amount of comments i've seen for people saying like uh, PewDiePie should get over what happened with Christchurch, all right? And not many of us, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna guarantee none of us 
me talking or you watching this video will ever experience what PewDiePie went through. Somebody screaming his name right before a mass murder. You know what I mean? Like I can't imagine how that affected him mentally, right? And you know, and now he's trying to distance himself away from that stuff and you know, there's who knows what's gonna happen in the future, but I'm sure that messed up his brain, but it's just really sad. And like the lack of empathy of people who are saying, get over it. Like, do you think those people are real fans of PewDiePie when they're saying, oh, you should just get over it? They clearly don't care about his mental well-being when they're saying things like that. Like just absolutely no empathy. When I see people say that, I see people just basically looking at Felix like, Hey, entertainer, just just entertain us and don't don't have any human emotions or feelings or thoughts of your own. You are here to make us laugh. That's it. Like, I can't imagine what Felix went through, but what I what I thought about when I kept seeing people say this, like, um, some of you know I was working at a drug and alcohol treatment center for a little over three years. I've been clean and sober for over seven years now. And in recent years, I've had over 70 people die from overdoses, suicide, or drug and alcohol related deaths in some way, shape, or form. And it's messed me up mentally and, you know, I'm in therapy and I do my own things to kind of cope and deal with it, but I can't imagine, I cannot imagine somebody saying, oh, just get over it, right? Like when I see that too, I'm just like, like, are these people who have never been through like some real stuff in their life, like just telling people to just get over it? It's absolutely madness. So anyways, to, to wrap up this video, like I said, it feels like PewDiePie flipped on the lights and all the cockroaches just, just took off and he's not even affected. Like he's still gaining a ton of subscribers. So this move he made like PewDiePie, I salute you for taking out the garbage in your community. All right. <laughs> but anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon and everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like buying merch, my books and all that kind of stuff. I appreciate you. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.